I'm in Cakewalk today, you all, and I hope you all feeling well. You might have watched a video about recording and using comping. I just released a video about that a few days ago. Here is another video that's gonna focus on using the punch in, punch out rule, or using the overwrite tool that is in Cakewalk. So if you go up to record, right click on it, and you'll see overwrite, all right? You can do an auto punch if you want to, or you can do this manually. So I can say punch in at a certain time. This comes in handy. Uh, let's say I want to punch in at four. And let's punch out at eight. All right. So I've got this set. And you'll notice that this little red bar with the little flags comes at the top. And it's, it looks like the loop point, but it's not a loop point. This is a record point. So this means that even if I start recording at the first four bars, it's not going to come in recording until I get to measure four. This is helpful if you are trying to do a retake on a certain part and maybe you, you like the way you sung the beginning part of the verse, but you didn't like the ending part. And maybe you didn't want to do the whole takes, multiple take thing. You just want to come in record that little section and you want to get right back out and you don't want to delete anything that was there. So this is good for that. Um, so let me record and you'll see what I'm talking about. I've got my track set up. I got to set on input 12. Everything is good to go. I'm getting a good signal and let's do it. Yes. Oh yes. I'm not going to come until measure four and now I'm recording. Yeah. I know I can't sing good, yeah, yeah. All right, and you notice that it stopped right at measure eight, you all. I'm sorry for having to hear those vocals. Those vocals are annoying. But this can be very handy if you are a person that just needs to fix a certain point. And you see this done quite a bit in studios where they say, hey, just punch me in at measure 16, measure 15, measure 18, or whatever. Uh, you can set this. How can you set it? So you can just drag these along. I can highlight this. Then I can set punch points. And now it's set to this area, right? <clears throat> Let me go ahead and delete that. If I didn't want to go up to the recording settings, I can also just right click anywhere on the timeline. I can go up to the timeline and I can highlight however long I want to do. All right, it's highlighted. Now I can click on I just right clicked and press set punch points. All right, now another thing that you can do with this punch in punch out, you can use loop recording, which we did with comping. Uh, so you can right click and you can set, you can set it on comping if you want to, but you really don't even have to do that. You can just do overwrite and keep it on overwrite. And if you want the loop recording to occur, you can keep all your takes in one lane. I mean, you can keep all your takes in one track or you can store the takes in separate tracks. So I'm gonna do store takes in separate tracks and do that uh, take behavior. I'm gonna say reuse existing lane unless takes overlap, uh, new takes on top. Yeah, I'll do that, that's fine. Multi-track grouping, group all clips, group only clips and folders, do not group. So I keep all of that the same. Press apply, press close, all right? Now I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And I still have my points set here, right? So I know how to do looping. I can go back to the top and I can highlight. Let's highlight right here, all right? And then press Shift L and that's gonna set the loop points for that right there. Okay, so I have my punch and points still at the same part. Now I can shift them over a little bit. I'm gonna move this over here. And then I'm going to move this over just a little bit so I can catch the tail end or whatever I'm recording. All right. And then what it's going to do is just going to keep looping it. And every time that it loops, it's going to record another take of it. All right. Here we go. I wish I can record some songs, record some songs, record some songs. I wish I can record some songs and show you how it works today. Oh, I wish that I can record some songs today. Record some songs. Record some songs. Oh, I wish that I can record some songs. I'm gonna record some songs today. 
Some songs today I'm gonna record Some songs today Real songs today Some songs today I'm gonna record Alright, and then I press stop And notice that they are all on Separate tracks now So before when I did my comp And I had them all on, on the same track Different takes But now they're already separated So that means I can do whatever I want with these now I don't have to worry about Figuring out which one I want. I'm going to play them all together. Alright, okay. And of course I got it on a loop, so it's going to keep looping. So, But this is a cool way you can go about using the comping or using the punch in. Now, this will be easier if you had music already laid out. And it was just one particular section that you wanted to record. So you can go about either using the comping way. Comping allows you to take part from one section, part from one section, put together to merge a new track. And the blend on is when you overlap the tracks, which is what I normally have it set on. Sound on sound, basically. So it allows you to blend the sounds together. And then you have this choice, which is to actually overwrite. So, but be careful with overwriting because sometimes you can overwrite the best part of the song. You'll be like, oh man, what happened to that one part I was singing? Okay, so that's why you wanna make sure you have these points set the right way. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you like content like this, dealing with digital audio workstation tutorials like Cakewalk by BandLab, our music production, or any other tips that I may come up with, definitely consider subscribing to the channel. I love comments and I love questions. So let me know if you have used the punch in, punch out, or the comping tool, and let me know your progress in Cakewalk by Band Lab. I'll see you all next time. Love you all. Peace.